Hey guys, so as expected, Apple today released iOS 17.1. Point one to address a few issues. Remember, we talked about this last week here on the channel. Apple was looking to address a few bugs and issues. We'll talk about everything new within the latest iOS 17.1.1. And I also wanted to share with you guys a few things you should consider doing immediately after you update to this next iOS update. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. Now, aside from iOS 17.1.1 released today, Apple also released iPad OS 17.1.1 as well. We also have Mac OS. 14.1.1 and watch os 10.1.1 is now available for the apple watch so there's a few things i recommend you do we'll talk about what apple is looking to address with this one but before we do i want to talk about three things i usually recommend you do it's number one you want to go into settings you want to head on over into general and then you want to tap into the about section and once you update to iOS 17.1.1, then you should see or could see a new carrier update. Of course, not everyone will get a carrier update, but if you do, make sure you click on update carrier settings. This is important because some of you may see a new carrier update and you must update your carrier settings for better network performance and of course, compatibility. Now you also wanna go into the app store here on your iPhone and then you wanna click into your avatar inside of the app store on the top right portion right here. And then what you wanna do is you you want to swipe down and then you want to refresh the page and if you have any app updates available you want to make sure you update all your applications even if you have the automatic app updates feature enabled those are the first two things i recommend you do right after you update to ios 17.1.1 now this software download is a small download it's about 200 to 300 megabytes coming from 17.1 and if we take a look here at the latest bill number under general and the about section here you see that the latest bill number there it is 21b91 so now i want to talk about what apple is looking to fix with ios 17.1.1 as you can see right there apple says in rare circumstances apple pay and other nfc features may become unavailable on iphone 15 models after wirelessly charging in certain cars now you may remember when i talked about that bmw wireless charging was breaking nfc chips on certain iphone 15 models apple was definitely addressing this issue so if you were having issues with your iphone's nfc see after wirelessly charging in your vehicle then of course you must update to ios 17.1.1 now the second issue that apple is addressing here has to do with the weather widget on the lock screen it may not correctly display snow information so if we go into the lock screen here you see the weather widget right there on the lock screen it was a bug in ios that would actually show a paper file like a file system file instead of the actual snowflake which was kind of funny and interesting a minor bug that apple is addressing here with ios 17.1.1 now other information that we've gathered throughout the week is that Apple is aware of poor Wi-Fi performance on the iPhone and Apple made no mention of this with 17.1.1 but they could be addressing this as they are very well aware and they did patch this on the latest beta for iOS 17.2 which is expected next month so it makes sense for them to address that issue on 17.1.1 although they did not mention anything on the release notes they could have patched that here with this one which brings me to the next two things you should probably do after you update you want to go into settings here you want to go into general and then you want to go into transfer or reset iphone and then you want to click on reset now if you were having wi-fi issues or slow wi-fi performance you want to click on reset network settings this of course will reset your network settings on your iphone keep in mind you will have to enter the password for all your wi-fi connections that you previously connected to but this should fix or help improve the wi-fi connection on your iphone running ios 17.1.1 now for those of you that were having issues with with the keyboard on 17.1 where some of you guys were saying it wouldn't populate properly and things like that you also want to go back into settings general and after you reset your network settings go back into the reset options here and then reset the keyboard dictionary this would help with some of those keyboard issues in ios 17.1 as well again apple did not mention these two additional things that were having issues or reported issues but Apple definitely is aware, so they could have released the patch without even mention anything. And those are the things I recommend you do immediately after you update. These are gonna be the two official patches with 17.1.1, of course. Stay tuned here to the channel for more additional coverage. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.